Hello, my name is Caitlin Connick and I am an honor student here at FSCJ. I have just recently come back home from the study abroad trip in London and Wales. Now, we didn't take any naps, we just got straight into walking around and visiting the city. This was a very nice day because we just walked around, we saw some of the local people doing their own little thing, like this man here, just walking his falcon, you know, he was letting it go around and fly, which was pretty cool. But my favorite thing of this day was probably being able to walk around the city and just look at the architecture because it's so different from what it is here. And it's very easy to walk from place to place here because the streets are so narrow, so there's only one-way traffic. Later on in the evening, we did a Thames River tour, which was also a lot of fun. And then we had a traditional British dinner, which I had fish and chips. And our next day was actually our free day, so Mason, Mimi, and I... We went to a place called Sky Garden, which was a skyscraper, and but you were able to see all around London, and it was um, completely, it was literally a garden inside. Then we went to East Brick Lane, and we finished off the day by watching the Euro Cup. The next day, we went to Westminster Abbey and the Houses of Parla Parliament. We also received a political walking tour, which was very educational, because he told us about the history in London, but he also told us the history about the whole British Empire, which was pretty cool in my opinion. The very next day, which was our last day in London, we, we went to the British Museum. I was able to visit the Egyptian exhibit for a little bit, but my favorite were the Greek and Roman. So the Greek and Roman just basically had a bunch of statues carved out of marble and in this room, you can actually see there's a whole mural that covers from wall to wall. And it actually went around in some of the other rooms as well, which was pretty cool. Um, but in this next room, it was pretty private. It was upstairs and no one else was in here. And this was the Greek fight, the Greeks fighting the Amazons. I believe they were talking about this being... Um, them conquering them for more land, more supplies. I think it was supplies. And this clip is from when we were transferring to Wales. So overall, London was a lot of fun for me. I had a great time. You know, I ate a lot of different food. I missed my seasonings. I missed the AC. But London was definitely worth the visit. I loved visiting the very traditional touristy spots, such as Westminster Abbey, because I personally found it was really cool because I grew up Roman Catholic, so I could see all the Roman Catholic influences in the Anglican um, church because they were selling rosaries, and I was not about to buy one of those because they're not a true Catholic rosary. But it was very cool because almost everything is the same except the fact that they don't follow the Pope. They're just kind of their own little church, so... And it's pretty cool to learn that... Henry VIII just broke apart from the Catholic Church because he wanted to divorce his wife. But in this next clip, you'll see we had just gotten to Wales and we were all on the living the life from our walk. Guys, we're vlogging. Fearless. Vlogging. What do you feel? I feel ecstatic. Like, I want to move here on a whim. On a whim. Someone Feeling? should look up how expensive these dorms are. It's impossible to move to England. What are your feelings and thoughts right now? This is for the vlog. I guess they're flat. You're feeling adventurous? Tough? Thoughts on this? Bro, I'm filling out my application as we speak. Literally. As we speak. What's the requirements? Um, um, um. Uh, uh, I'm meeting them. I'm meeting them. <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to join. Thoughts for this vlog? Thoughts for the vlog? Yes. Okay, this is guy. peak. Pink? Yeah. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Grace, your thoughts? It's very pretty out here. What'd you say? It's very pretty out here. Okay. Mimi, what are your thoughts? I said no, she's just get up and very pretty. Yeah, that's my alarm. Lily, what are your thoughts? <laughs> Did you hear what I said about the bridge? Anyway, this is beautiful. Welcome to Wales, everybody. Welcome to Wales. This is kind of exciting. We're on a bridge. I ran up it. I might not even be, be in the camera. <laughs>
So as you can see, we were having a great time during our walk. Um, but this is the next morning, and we were taking a tour of Aberystwyth University, which was very nice and cool. So they actually have this little wildflower meadow, which they have there to promote animal diversity and plant biodiversity of their natural growing plants there that are located in Wales. The last clip was their little agriculture program, which they have to teach their students about being self-sustainable. This is their little vet ed center, which had a lot of um, bones and stuff, which was pretty cool as well. This is actually their art gallery that they have on campus, so, or their art exhibit, as you would say. And this was actually some art that the families in Wales had picked out because this was something about the students. They wanted to immerse the families in. So you see they have some stuff at eye level for the kids so that they can actually be engaged in it and they have fun colors all around the rooms. This was very cool because they had some pottery that the kids and the families had made. They had a weaving table, and I think the coolest part about this was that they actually had a Picasso, which was the little jug that had the weird little face in it. And this next, uh, this next picture is actually my favorite piece of art I found in the gallery just because of the colors. This is the coast of Aberystwyth while we were there. You can see in the background, there's actually, you can see like, I think it's the the peninsula of, of Wales. I'm not sure. Don't hold me to it. But they had some pretty cool tide pools. This is the old college lecture that we went to. So um, Aberystwyth actually has like kind of two campuses, as you would say. They have one where it's further away. And then they have the one in the downtown, which is actually the old college. So that that college was actually a vacation home for some rich people. It was then a hotel and then it was actually a it was actually the college. So that was pretty cool. Now we're at the Lo National Library of Wales. This part was very cool because as a little book lover, I love to see that books are being preserved and that we can keep history going. So here they have the carbon, I think di dioxide or monoxide chambers where they actually keep the books in the chambers um, and they don't turn the light on freq frequently. And if a fire were to break out in the chambers, they, they're all oxygen is removed because they pump carbon into the chamber so a fire would immediately be put out and here this is the old part of the library because of all the wood stuff and there's actually no air conditioning here either so all the books in all the books in here are not super old they're pretty um young so they don't so they won't rot or anything and this next clip is actually one of my favorites just because of the sunset and here's a cute little house but this is one of my favorites. He really is. What a guy. Is FCJ on him? Where's his phone? Where's his phone? Oh, 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 This is phone out loud. <laughs> So we were in Aberystwyth during the summer solstice, so the sun would set at 9.30 to 10 every single night, and it was very cool. This is actually us walking into our lecture the next morning, which we learned about um, images in the news media. So basically, we learned about how the, the news panels, they actually will crop pictures to show a specific message that they want to portray. And it can either be a positive or negative. It's actually very interesting. And she pulled out some British tabloids, which was pretty cool. Then we headed over to the Caradigan Museum. And this is a crown from, I believe, 1982 that was actually worn. Sorry, 1986. It was actually worn by the King of Wales at the time. Then for our final and last little thingy, we went to a trolley that took us up the cliff and we were able to see all of Aberystwyth from where we were and it was very it was so cool overall I really enjoyed Wales and everything that I learned there that I saw and I ate some pretty good food too you know not the worst not the best but I enjoyed it I this was probably my favorite place because as a group we were able to spend a lot more time together so we had more time together and we learned a lot and we were able to hem and haul a little bit, but 
I really enjoyed those trips overall. So thank you very much, FSCJ. <laughs> I also really wanted to include this clip, so I decided this is my official bloopers section. Enjoy. Vlog video. This is for the vlog. <laughs> Is that in the vlog? That's in the vlog! <laughs> <laughs>